Hi everyone, I'm Ben, and this is the Board Game Blueprint. This week, we're going to be taking a closer look at screens that are available on the Game Crafter and how they might be utilized in your own designs. So let's jump on over to the table next door and see what we have in store. If I am not mistaken, the Game Crafter offers three stock or standard sizes with their uh, cardstock screens. And so those are the small, which is a bifold, kind of folded into two sections here, as we can see. There is the medium size, which looks a little bit like this, it's got three sides to it, a front and then two panels on the side, and then also a large, which may not fit on the camera actually on a single shot here. But this one is quite vertical with some awesome height and uh, it, yeah, can definitely keep things hidden from players. And that's sort of where we have seen screens before in a previous video about uh, different types of information, specifically hidden information. We had this screen from Kung Fu Fight. Uh, very cute because obviously uh, it's got printed art on the front and then on the back, actually, doubles as a player aid, which is a really awesome use for screens for players. The game Rising Sun also has a similar screen where the front is maybe uh, the side facing the other players at the table. Something that's thematic and, and cool, unique maybe to the faction that you're playing. But then on the back side is a player reference or breakdown of the turns so that you know how things are going to work out. Uh, well, or not, depending on how well you play. So what else is kind of fun is that I do have an old version of this screen. I believe, based on the feel, that these materials are the same, and I just wanted to give a little close-up about what we can expect from the printing. So yes, we'll get a little bit closer. This does have linen finish, and the colors are very rich, as you can expect from a regular standard card. Uh, on the back side, for me, Yes, I did use this kind of as a player reference. You can see that uh, different roles are kind of defined here in terms of what their specific goals may be in this old game, which was an entry into a, an old contest, a hidden movement contest. And then over here uh, is going to be the own player's win condition. So, uh, in supplementation of the general map of this game of the board. So uh, with the hidden movement player having this screen, they have uh, their own little notepad that they can write on and they are using this reference uh, to kind of make note or jot down where they'll be moving around on the board so that other players uh, who are playing yep, these other profiles can't track the hidden movement players' eyes as they're looking maybe to the main board instead. So that's one additional use, or I should say that is one example of a use for screens in a game, but you could use them simply as dividers. Uh, maybe in a role-playing tabletop RPG, uh, you just have an, a series of these and use them as walls uh, to physically separate the different spaces and have players and whatnot uh, navigating through the dungeon. Well, yeah, this is a huge wall, so what lies behind it, maybe the gate opens up and then you see another room with more monsters and such and such. Screens, yeah, are pretty darn neat and, you know, just for the heck of it, to experiment with use cases, why not use a screen vertically, or is this horizontally, on the table as well? You can create a kind of tunnel uh, maybe for a dexterity game, um, you're rolling a golf ball through the mini golf course. Yeah, something like that. Oh, I had a mini golf game before, and I might need to use that idea. <laughs> and yeah, so really, again, as with anything else, the possibilities are quite endless, only really limited by your imagination for screens thusly. But there is one more screen that I want to show you, something that's been newly added to the Game Crafter that is not cardstock, no sirrees. This is actually a massive D&D screen that I believe is composed of chipboard, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is a fourfold board, wow, or a uh, screen rather. It kind of separates into this giant behemoth, yeah, so you can imagine that's the middle of it right here. And so just to try and get half of it in the shot, yeah, this is only half the screen. There are two more sections underneath. 
and this is kind of referred to, I believe, as the Dungeon Master or Game Master screen on TGC. Oh, right, let's go ahead and show off that thickness as well that I was uh, referencing a bit here. So there you are, four pieces of chipboard, maybe a little bit more sturdy, different material. No, it feels like chipboard to me, um, with a black kind of paper there. And the best part about this is, well, I ran out of standard white letter paper, so here's a pink one instead. Enjoy that while you can. And you can actually slide it into the plastic, just as you would with a card and a sleeve, to decorate this as you like. Uh, now, this is kind of marketed, I suppose, or advertised as a game screen, a game master screen, but what's stopping you from making this just a foldable board? Um, now that you can see, yep, the paper fits in nicely, we can actually have, you know, eight of these, right? One, two, three, four, and then the other side uh, as well that can kind of act not quite as a scroll for a board, but uh, certainly you could just lie this all the way down on the table and uh, move pieces across such and such uh, that way. So another type of screen, I'm gonna try to just get this one in the frame a little bit with everything else. Yeah, it is just a, a true behemoth. Um, we have the small, which is the bifold, a singular fold with two sections. Uh, and then we have, yep, the medium just behind that. Uh huh. And the large. Dimensions can be found, of course, on the Game Crafter uh, for specifics if you were interested. Uh, but I also did bring down this handy designer's ruler. So I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can get a quick little measurement. Uh, I do not know how to read this. No, it is five inches uh, across one way for the small. And uh, it only gets um, wider from there. So enjoy that and yeah, absolutely feel free to design with a screen in mind or not even in mind, order something and draw something up. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with having uh, a cool little, oh, identifying placard or plaque in front of each player, similar to uh, a game like, oh, uh, I think it's we're all doomed by breaking games where everyone has like a little kind of title that they're with. So this could be fun, yeah, for like a kind of political themed game. Uh, this could also be used uh, in other ways like, oh, I think that's pretty much all I have to come up with here. But I think you get the idea. Uh, screen, uh, this could be like a, the front of a building, yes, in your game. So kind of thrown back to that tabletop RPG aspect, but maybe this is a barn or uh, maybe this is a barn, or maybe this is a barn. This is a silo, a grain silo. This is the barn front. Um, and so, yeah, kind of like uh, flick them up. You have these different areas and such to explore and whatnot, thanks to the beauty and simplicity of screens, cardstock screens from TGC. Uh, durable stuff, as you would expect from the cardstock materials and tons of printing possibilities awaiting you. And there we have a closer look about this component and maybe, yeah, other uses that you might be able to incorporate in whatever you've got going on. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and click that bell icon so that you can stay notified about when the next video goes up. As always, I'm Ben, this has been another episode of the Board Game Blueprint, and together, let's build something great.